Hello guys, it's me again, Glad, and welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of Miss Belgian's Classroom. Today is the first week of July and pretty much you are also excited like me for the upcoming school year with all the learnings that you have learned from different um, group and websites like Bitmojis, um, Learningscape, Stations, weekly planners and all of this i'm sure you are all excited to share this to your class but like me i am worried of maybe the student may temper all the um files that i have made so today i'm going to sh show you or i'm going to share with you how to share files to your vir virtual classroom but before that don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell If you are worried that your class or student might change or tamper your files or your shared files to the Google Classroom, today I'm going to talk about how to share files to virtual classroom. There are some ways wherein the student might not able to touch or move any of your files. So I have here a weekly planner. I have downloaded this weekly planner at slidesmania.com. They have a lot of free stuff in there. You might want to go there and grab some weekly planners and um, or daily planners or gamified um, PowerPoint or slide presentation. So I have here my weekly planner. I am preparing this for my um, week one. Okay, so first way of sharing the file. First, you might want to go to file, okay? And then you might want to download this to PDF, okay? Even if it is PDF, okay, you can still, or the student can still access with all the links that you have um, include in that presentation. All right, next is go to file. Publish to the web, click publish, and share this link, copy this link, and this is the one that you're going to share to your class. So let us see how does it look like. Okay, paste. So there you are. As you can see, it looks like I present view. So they don't need to um, go to the master slides. They, can, they will just click the... Um, Google Slides and they will be prompted to different um, activities or lessons that you may want them to do. <coughs> the other one is, or by the way, you can also stop the publishing if you don't want to publish this anymore. Okay. The other one is you may want to copy the link. Okay. In the end paste and then you see after this slash from edit you will change this to percent okay and then copy let's see so it looks like how you did with publish to web it will look like present view to the students Okay. <clears throat> also, if you want to share the file to your co-teachers or friends in um, the school, you may want to force copy this one. Just change it to copy. Okay. So copy this one. All right. And there you are. So this is what we call force copy so if they have that they will automatically make a copy and save it to their google drive so in that way they are not going to go to your master slides and change your any of your files 
So there you are, guys. I hope this is helpful for you. If this is helpful for you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you. Have a great day.